hello my loves welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is marlin if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back i really appreciate so guys today i want us to chit chat a little bit you guys know that i moved out like some weeks few weeks ago and guys i want us to talk about what you should do before you decide to move out to stay alone because when you're going to stay alone now you have to pay bills by yourself so what should you do before you move out from your parents house to go and stay alone so guys that's what i want us to discuss kindly if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please a minute let's take these minutes to subscribe to my channel okay thank you and also give this video a thumbs up there's a place there you, for, you like you you like you give it a thumbs up like this so guys before you move out from your parents house to come and stay alone or to go and stay alone by yourself you must have a budget that is point number one have a budget a budget will help you to know the kind of a house you want maybe if you want to go and stay in a big city what is your budget you know that maybe i want to stay in a big city in this uh that range from maybe six thousand to maybe eight thousand or maybe what i can afford is a big city that is six thousand so you will have that budget of the kind of house you're going to stay guys you should have a budget of maybe your monthly expenses water bills electricity maybe if the place you're going to stay i don't know you must have also that bill for taka taka i don't know or something like that so guys you should have a bill a budget that budget will help you to know how much you spend on water how much you're going to spend on electricity how to how much for your rent how much for your house shopping and how much you're also going to spend on food so it's good to have a clear budget of how much you're going to spend every month so guys that's my first point on the second point you have to go to check a location location that is where you're going to stay maybe your parents are staying maybe in Kisumu, for example and you want to go now you want to move out from your parents place where are you going to stay are you going to stay in nairobi are you going to stay maybe in kakamega are you going to stay in eldoret so before you move out from your parents house you have to know the location of where you're going to stay and when having a location you will also have a rough idea of the estate you're going to stay in because girls not all estates have the same prices of house maybe a house maybe in ketengela one bedroom house in ketengela maybe you can get with maybe ten thousand and you went to maybe if you go to karen maybe the same house might be going for thirty thousand. so guys you must know the location of where you're going to stay that will also help you to in your budgeting to know that i want to go and stay maybe my budget is i want to stay in a house which is five thousand monthly where will this five thousand get me a house maybe it will get me a, a house maybe in a place like karibangi so you are going when you are looking for a house you want to go to look for a house in karen when you know that you can't afford a house in Karen, you will go straight to Karibangi to go and look a house in Karibangi because that's where you can afford. So guys, it's good to know the location of where you want to stay. It will also help you with the house hunting process. It will make it a little bit easier for you. Guys, in the third, the third point is you have to have a source of income. Guys, before you leave your parents house to go and stay alone you must have a source of income maybe for example if you have, have a job and maybe the job is paying you well source of income not necessarily mean that you must have a job per se but you, you know where you will be getting the money for your upkeep for your rent for your for the expenses in the house and everything food and all the expenses so you must have a source of income because you can tell me you're going to 
to just go and stay somewhere how will you pay the bills how will you even pay the first month bill because you have to pay deposit plus the rent if you are a new tenant where will you get less money so guys you must have a source of income where you will get the money to pay for the for those bills so if you don't have a source of income and if you don't have anywhere to get the money please just stay with your parents at home and enjoy the free services and but if you have a source of income now it's good now you can move out to your own place because you will be able to afford things that you need okay the next point is point number four guys buy things when you are still at home guys you know when you are still staying with your parents you have like zero bills not zero because you still have the few expenses maybe to, maybe personal expenses may, like maybe getting your hair done maybe to buy credit and all that but you don't have much expenses because most of the things are catered for by parents you know you must eat you must have a shelter those ones you're not going to pay for but when you move out now you know you're going to pay for these things by yourself so guys buy that take that opportunity any little money if you get money buy things when you're still at home maybe you can buy a mattress when you're still at home you buy maybe plates the basic things that you need you, you don't necessarily need a bed but if you can afford to buy a bed when you're still at home the better but if you you don't need it it's not a must you can start a life without a bed you can just start by a mattress mattress you must have you must have beddings you have to buy those things before you move out because you know what the the first month of moving out is not that easy you have to pay deposit rent you have to do full house shopping full because you won't have anything maybe you can say that i have the last month tissue so maybe i can forego buying a tissue and buy something different no you have to do full house shopping so it's good to buy things so you're still at home when you don't have a lot of expenses because the more you move out the more expensive so now you will have a lot of expenses so guys i advise that you buy things when you are still at home if you get money and you can buy something just buy them when you are at home another point is save a lot of money guys when you are at home you might get a lot of money and you, you might spend them maybe going out eating out buying pizza buying just buying clothes buying buying maybe shoes guy it's not a bad thing to buy but try to save as much as you can because you will need a lot of money when moving out you need a lot of money there are things you will just wake up in the morning you want to maybe go and shower you don't have slippers you don't even have a basket you go and buy yes you will just be buying buying things a lot of things you'll be buying so guys if you can save save as much as you can especially if you have a job and you're staying with your parents make sure you save a lot of money by the time you are living there at least you have money to push you maybe for the next two months or rather three months so save as much as you can another point the point number six go window shopping by going on a window shopping you will know how much it will help you a lot because you will compare prices maybe you go to you after you move out maybe you will need a chair you will need maybe a bed you will need things maybe plates and the rest so it's good to do window shopping maybe you go to neighbors and check their prices how how much they sell these things you go to maybe quick mart you go and compare those prices again you go to a different maybe ketias you go and and ask for prices of things so you will know you will know if i want to buy a tv i want to go to maybe naiva supermarket but i can go to katie's because katie's is much cheaper than naiva's or maybe naiva's is cheaper than katie's so you will know where to buy things you will have a bad it will also help you to know the amount of money of things that you want to buy so guys it's good to go into shopping it will help you a lot you will know a lot where to get good things 
by just doing window shopping so guys i recommend you go for window shopping before leaving before buying things for your house because you won't know much and the prices of those things because they were bought for your parents so it was not you bought them so you can't know their prices and my last point guys is go for quality over quantity have you so today guys i was watching this something was it on tiktok and there was this guy who was saying that if you go to a rich man's house maybe you will just get one chair and or maybe a, a tv but when you go to a poor man's house you will get a lot of things once in the sitting room there are wires everywhere and all that so guys if you go for you know cheap cheap things you will as in i'm, I'm trying to say that don't buy a lot of things a lot of cheap things in the house for example if you want to get maybe a seat there's no need you go and buy if you don't ha you go and buy maybe plastic chair with six seats as in <laughs> as in six plastic chairs with maybe a table when you can just go and buy a one good sofa seat and put it there with no chair you can start from anywhere don't be in a hurry to furnish the house don't be in a hurry to have a lot of things in your house just buy one thing but one quality thing the more you buy you you need you save you get what you want because if you just go, go and buy things for the sake of buying you will end up buying after maybe two months you have outgrown that thing now you want another thing so you're still going to buy and you sell these ones at a throwaway price or rather you give them out for free so guys always buy quality things over quantity things they will save you a lot and, and they will last you for a long period of time so guys that's it those are things you should do and um, or rather consider doing before you try to move out from your parents house and if you want to move out i wish you good luck and guys if you if you're planning to to move out consider those things that i've told you and guys if you wanna have another point leave it in the description box below kindly subscribe to my channel share my content share on your whatsapp tell your friend tell a friend tell a friend so guys we can go to 200 subscribers so guys thank you for so much i really love you guys and appreciate your support so far thank you so much and thank you and thank you bye